Hello, friend. Welcome. On the screen is our Android chess written in Kotlin, the new program language, much much newer than Java, and it's based on Java. Okay, so in the last video, we drew two sample pieces、um, here, right, on the emulator, but. We have those are the real pieces, thirty-two of them on the board, so far, right? Now let's let's try to draw those real pieces on the board, okay? But here the view the view doesn't know where all the pieces are, okay? But the model knows chess model here, we. We reset and we deployed all the thirty-two pieces in their correct locations. Okay, so maybe we can just do a quick, um, quick, um, test here. So we can maybe we can put our model here. Okay. Draw a piece. Let's create a model here, like, wow,、well, um, chess model, chess model equals chess model like that, and we can call it dot reset, right? No, um, is it private here? Reset. Yes, so we can remove that to make it accessible from the other class. Okay, reset. So now th let's do it again. Yeah, it works. So here we have、uh, the chess model here, and、uh, what about the piece at? Yeah, we have a piece at. We also need that. So let's remove that. So we have access to that from other classes. Now we can loop through all the locations, the sixty-four locations, to check if there's a piece. Right, we can try to draw the piece on board. So for、um, let's do colon.、Um, okay, so row first.、Um, row in.、Um, let's start from. Yeah, let's start from bottom. So zero. Dot dot seven. Like that. And the four column in seven, right? Now we can try to find out the the pieces at every specific location. So we can do、um, var. Piece equals chess model dot piece at right and colon and row. So if、um, if piece is yeah, we can do okay. So if Piece is not nil now. Then we can try to draw that piece, right? So draw piece at colon. No, we need the canvas first. Then colon and row and.、Uh, 
resource ID and we don't have a resource ID here for the piece so now it's time to add this property in our chess piece okay so let's add one more thing here um, chess piece um, okay like resource ID int oh I forgot value like that okay so now we break the code here right so let's add it here so this one is now we need more room okay so r dot drawable dot white rook right rook white yeah and what about this one uh, dot drawable dot rook black yeah Uh, the drawable dot this one is night uh, white and uh, here is a uh, dot drawable dot night black and uh, here bishop uh, the drawable dot bishop white and uh, Thank you for your patience. This one is Bishop. Oh, this one. This is white, black, white. Yeah, this is black. Okay, and uh, here. Uh, dot drawable dot pawn white yeah <coughs> excuse me pawn dot pawn black and the queen and the king uh, dot drawable dot queen white uh, dot drawable dot dot Queen Black. Finally, our last one. Job the dot king. White. Yes. Last one. Dot king. Black. This guy. Okay. So now we have all the information of the of its resource ID. Now let's go back to let's close it and close this one. So here, right, we know is piece dot resource ID, right? Let's give it a try. Now we don't need those two things and uh, run it oh my god that's gorgeous right all the pieces are on board amazing now we finally have all the real pieces on board Okay, now let's clean up this. And thank you for watching. See you next time. By the way, this is very bad code. It's a, a concept proving code. And we'll, we'll refactor that in the later videos. Okay, because 
the view cannot talk directly to the model right yes okay see you next time